Hello guys, this is a quick video that I decided to make because uh, I realized today that some people have no idea that you can uh, almost always fix uh, tiny motors like this, uh, especially if the, the problem is not uh, the fact that they were uh, over voltaged or uh, used for an extreme uh, extreme period of time so basically uh, even if they are not used the grease in the uh, bushings in the ends they don't have bearings they are uh, small bushings starts to dry and basically when this dries up the motor uh, goes slower and slower and slower at the same voltage so uh, today one of my work colleagues brought this and asked me if uh, I have a similar one so he replaces it and uh, I have lots of these uh, ty types of motors but uh, none of them is uh, of the same size and not with this uh, in the end so basically he has to put it back in a, in a plastic toy and if it has a different shape it will not work so uh, at this point I decided to to open this up clean it put some uh, silicone grease inside and most likely it will run perfectly now it is kind of almost seized, it spins but really hard. So yeah, at first this has uh, a small electrical board on it, I just have to unsolder the ground wire, take it out and then there are two small metal, uh, not clips but uh, something similar, uh, that are uh, bent onto the plastic so basically these uh, two metal things keep the end of the motor locked in place if we unbend them this will come out and that is exactly what we want so we can properly clean this at this point I will stop the video for a second until I unsolder this and then continue to open it I have unsoldered it, I used this to pull on it while I was melting the solder and first I thought that I can use this to pry these metal clips uh, uh, open or unbend them but it's too weak so basically I'm upgrading to this, a strong flathead uh, screwdriver, small enough so it will enter this spot. And let me just start uh, unbending them. Do not over unbend them because uh, if you do this uh, there is a chance that they will break. Of course uh, a few times maybe it's something uh, like just what just happened will happen to you. You will uh, lose the grip on it but not a problem, start again. So basically, at this point, the end just comes out. And you can see, this is extremely black and dirty so what I will do now is clean this check if they are not uh, worn too much because sometimes uh, these motors fail because this uh, wear out so if that is the case I can try and put some in from another similar motor or uh, that is the end of the motor 
it depends on the shape and what you have to replace them with. But uh, I'm thinking this is not the case, this is just uh, really really dirty, the grease uh, really clogged up, dried up. Now you cannot pull this out to clean the other uh, sleeve, sleeve wearing, so uh, you have to pull on the end. I really am not sure if I can do this just with my hand. Sometimes they come out easy, easy and sometimes they don't. No, I just have to find a big screwdriver and uh, try it open. So I'll stop the video for a second. Okay, that is out. Now you just push on this. You can see it's going really hard because basically it's rubbing on the magnets but there is no crease here so there are two friction areas and it's out that's about it and lots of ugly stuff comes out of the motor now I will just clean it I will use some isopropylic alcohol uh, just with uh, I will not dip this in, I will just clean it with a, a brush, a small brush. So let me get those. Finished cleaning. Be careful with these, uh, you sometimes cannot clean them perfectly. They are quite uh, fragile, so yeah, be careful. Also clean this and maybe let me try and bring it closer. Yeah, my camera is not going to focus where I want it to. Hopefully you can see there are some uh, marks on it. Well, those tiny groups were made by this. So what you want to try and do now is uh, find a way so these tiny uh, contacts do not touch the collector in exactly the same grooves because uh, like this if they touch it, touch it in the same grooves you probably don't have a lot of life left in this uh, tiny motor but if you manage uh, so this touch the collector a little bit higher then it's almost like a brand new motor uh, there are two ways of doing this basically in uh, older motors you could just uh, push the collector a little bit lower with two millimeters lower and that was basically it because uh, this motor kind of uh, centers itself in here so there was not a huge problem that you have uh, two more millimeters of play up and down because it will stay in, in the correct position almost by itself uh, with these newer ones, it's very hard. The tolerances are uh, way lower and it's very hard to push it. So what I'm going to try and do is bend these little metal contacts a little bit in. So they make contact more to, towards the end. Now you have to be extremely careful doing this because uh, they have a shape like a triangle with, and with that shape they touch on the collector. If you turn it around that is not, not good, you want the same shape to touch it. So you basically just want to go higher but not like this with them. So yeah, I will do this off video because it's really really hard to, to get right. And after I'm finished we will start putting this back together.
okay maybe you can see they are quite lower now I basically put a screwdriver here and bent the end uh, this is not ideal ideal they would touch this at a 90 degree angle now they are something like this but uh, with the big grooves in this yeah this is my best change, uh, chance of giving this little motor a longer lifetime of use so yeah let's uh, start putting it back together basically at this point I wonder if I have any more of this silicone grease in this tube you start start putting grease not really sure if you can see this let me just try and see if something comes out if not I will have to go and find a better tube okay there is grease you can see it transparent hopefully you can see it I put uh, some of it on the outer side on the inner side it will be quite difficult but maybe you can see it went by itself through the hole and I'm going to put some of it on the end here too much basically this will make sure this tiny engine uh, not engine motor is greased up it would work even without this but not not well the same thing we have to do on this end okay just a little bit here do not overdo it do not put uh, too much in because that will uh, just attract uh, dust and we don't really want that okay now this will not be extremely easy to do as you can see the magnets are uh, drawing the, the shaft where it uh, shouldn't be but in the end it will line up and basically it is in now you can see a little bit of grease I will wipe it don't leave any excess it's not helping and now some of the grease from uh, this end will get onto the contacts but yeah, nothing to do about that make sure uh, this is in the correct position and with the end of the shaft shaft you just try and pry them apart sometimes this goes easy sometimes not at all so yeah do not push on it really hard you will break it so you just have to try and do it another way I've just remembered you can push on this just enough so you can see what you are doing I don't really know if this is on camera or in focus but I really hope it is basically I'm the wrong way around okay now it should be okay let me just check yes they are in perfect position I'm sure you cannot see that on camera but they are in perfect position and now together you slowly push the back of the motor in and that is about it I have some grease on my fingers keep it in place and give it a, 
a small test. Way, 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 way better. Of course, this is greasy, so my fingers are slipping on it, but it works without any issues. So, at this point, we want to... This is gonna jump out by itself, do not let it do that. We want to push this back uh, in place. So, basically, we do that the same way we did it before, with a bigger screwdriver this time. And hopefully it will not jump into my fingers. This is what one is closed. Take this away. Okay. Make sure it is properly closed. It, it doesn't move because that would make uh, unwanted noise. And now, off camera, I, I will solder uh, this wire in its normal position. And then give this motor a quick test. Of course, I'm going to also put this back in. When you are putting this back in, make sure you are resting the, the shaft of the motor onto something metal and you are not resting it onto the metal contacts because you are going to push pretty hard onto this so I'm going to do that off camera solder it and then test it and it is finished let me just show you way 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 better So, let's uh, give it a quick test. Uh, in theory, this shouldn't be polarized. So, either way you are giving it uh, a voltage, it should run. But, basically, we will see that in a moment. You can see it spinning really slow because I'm only giving it uh, one and a half volts, but it is working without any issues. In real life, this will be getting about four and a half volts, so three times as much. So this has been it. Uh, be very, very careful to put this in the same uh, position with the same orientation. And whatever you do, do not put any grease uh, where the small belt will go, because then you don't have any more friction and you will have a hard time uh, cleaning that. Sometimes I clean uh, those grooves from CD-ROM drives. In time they get dirty and they do not push out the door from the CD-ROM drive, so you do not want to get anything in there, keep it clean. So guys, this has been it. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this uh, useful and see you in the next video. Bye.